as Muslim women on a daily basis get bombarded by both the philosophical and social questions regarding hijab. A common argument raised is where does it say in the Quran that we must wear hijab? People argue that the Quran doesn't specifically command us to wear the hijab as in head coverings. It only generically talks about the notion of modesty and chastity. How would you answer those who say that the hijab is not wajib and the Quran does not command us to wear the hijab? The question is, where in the Quran does it tell us to wear the hijab as in head coverings? How would you answer such people? Keep watching. When studying the Quranic revelations, one thing stands clear that the Qur'an does command us to wear the physical hijab as in our physical head coverings. To name a few, Surah Al-Nur verse number 30 and 31 and Surah Al-Hazab verse number 53 and 59 are prime examples of this. But before someone comes and interprets or analyzes these Qur'anic verses, a few points must be considered. Scholars of Tafsir and students of Tafsir all know that a few points must be considered and you must obtain knowledge in a few areas before someone comes and analyzes Quranic verses. Let's analyze these points. Number one, one must have knowledge in Islamic jurisprudence. Number two, one must have knowledge in Arabic grammar. Number three, one must have knowledge in narrations in hadith. Number four, one must have knowledge in pre-Islamic Arabian culture. And number five, one must have knowledge in pre-Islamic Arabian poetry. Once someone has grasped these five aspects, then they can come forward and analyze these Quranic verses. So now let's move on to the Quranic verses which talk about hijab. And we see in Surah An-Nur, which is Surah 24, verse number 31, it says, and tell the believing woman to cast down their looks and to guide their private parts and to not display their ornaments except for what seems present. And then it moves on to saying, and pull their head coverings over their bosoms. This ayah is a clear indication of the commandment to wear the head covering as in hijab. The word khumur is used. If you look in any Arabic dictionary, especially the most known Arabic dictionaries, you'll see that khimar by definition means the head coverings, as in covering your hair. Now if we go back to the points we mentioned earlier and look at point number four, as in the pr having knowledge in pre-Islamic Arabian culture, we would see that in pre-Islamic Arabia, women already wore the hijab, the khimar, as in the head coverings. But what they used to do is they used to take the two ends of the hijab and, t and tie it backwards, in a sense revealing their necks, their ears and their chest. So when this verse was revealed, Surah to nur verse number 31, Allah says, pull your head coverings over your bosoms. It's a clear indication which commands us to wear the head coverings and also cover our chest and neck. If we look at any educational institute or working environment and we see on their policy it says all shirts must be tucked in. The order indicates that the individual is already wearing a shirt but is ordering them to tuck it in. We see in this Quranic ayah that the Quran orders a woman to tuck her head coverings over her bosoms indicating that the woman is already wearing a head covering but she must also cover her bosoms as in her chest. So if anyone asks you where in the Quran does it tell a woman to cover her hair or to physically cover herself, you can answer them with these points. As the Quran does clearly mention the word khimar as in head coverings, covering your hair and also tells us to cover ourselves physically and also talks about this social hijab. Join me next time for more educational videos where we address the questions directed at women and the answers and the ways we can tackle these questions. وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَغْضُضْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِنَّ وَيَحْفَظْنَ خُرُوجَهُنَّ وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا وَلْيَضْرِبْنَ بِخُمُرِهِنَّ عَلَى جُيُوبِهِنَّ 